One of the reasons we created uh, this platform, Winning with Diversity, is for the executive, for the business leader, to create a more personalized mindset and conversation that applies just for you. A lot of times when you're dealing with growing a company, the profit loss of your business, we're dealing right now in a global pandemic, we've got racial strife, we've got a lot of things that are happening and you're still expected to deliver bottom line results. And now you've got a DNI conversation that can be unsettling, can be awkward, can be invigorating, but more importantly, can be uncertain. And there's a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt about how to have this conversation within your organization. And what we want to do is give you that framework, that confidence that there's a place for you to get some questions answered and deal in a dialogue that thinks about it from the CEO point of view. So here's what I mean. We're going to talk about how to pick and select your diversity champion. We're going to talk about what do you need to do as a business leader to educate yourself so that you can be in the moment of critical conversations your authentic, courageous self with the understanding that risk is required, that people will forgive a misstep, a word choice that is not quite right if the intent and the focus and the outcome nature of what you're trying to do is move the conversation ahead. So a couple of quick tips. Number one, listening is critical. You wanna create space where people can have open and honest conversations with you as a business leader about how they truly see diversity and inclusion in your organization. I think you're courageous and proud of you for even listening to this video, checking out our website, being a part of this conversation. And I wanna encourage you to dig in deeper and create that consistent self-reflection, right? So that you can be a leader of your company, which you already are, but you can be a leader in this tough moment. It's very emotional, it's very scary for the people in your team and your organization, because you know what? There's African-American people, there are people of color in your company that are afraid for their lives. They're afraid for the lives of the people that they care about. They're uncertain about a country that they love that doesn't love them back. And so in order to lean into that conversation appropriately, it is smart to talk to a lot of different people before you take that first powerful action so that your steps are ordered, they're impactful, and they can scale a program versus crafting simply a powerful press release. The goal of what you're trying to do is move beyond the checkbox and into really creating a foundation for long-term growth, long-term organizational change, long-term commitment from you is what's required. And then we have a lot of tools that we're excited about sharing with you that can help you as a leader in that work that can talk from your point of view and the fears that you have because you don't have all the answers in this moment. And so it's okay to be uncertain. We're just gonna create an environment where we help find those answers for you and your company together.